Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Sa. It's Sammy. And today we have some Jamaican for you guys. So Sammy, what do we have today? Cause I didn't order this. Shrimp curry from Montego Bay. And what else do we have? And uh, some Jamaican colas. We got plantains, cabbage, rice and oh, beans. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was talking about. I'm like, what? I'm not even talking about shrimp curry. You see it? Oh, you got you got plantains, you got cabbage, you got green peppers, red peppers. I hope onion, you guys can see this. Rice with this uh, rice so and beans, yummy. and of course the juicy shrimp. Yes, this looks so yummy. I hope you guys can see that. Yes. Yeah, so. Without further ado, we need to go ahead and get this blessing in. But before we do that, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also got a cream soda one too. So I'm trying both of them out. Yeah. So. This smell out a while, the better cuts a while. Ooh, I'm trying to dig in. So how have you guys been? I hope you guys been enjoying our last few videos that we have uploaded. Whoa. Boy, you see them, you see them suds jumping. I mean, you see them. The fish? Them fish oh. That fish jumping. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that shrimp? Mm. Oh, my God. Ooh, that got a little kick to it. Yeah, I made yours two times spicy. It's like. I should have got the, um scotch bonnet out of the um mm. yeah, uh, the cabinet i'm not a big fan of rice with beans but they joints i'll make an exception for it mm. some cabbage i like this curry sauce Oh, uh, hope you guys been taking it easy getting acclimated back into society <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. I should ask for plantain these are not good I would ask for more hmm So have you guys been keeping up with that um that story about that lady and her husband and her two missing kids? They found the bodies of the two missing children on their property. Oh boy. Yeah, so basically like this lady, she was married to this guy like back in 2018, right? She was married to him. Some type of altercation happened where her brother killed her husband in self-defense. What? Yeah, so basically she had like a 17-year-old and a six-year-old kid. The br brother killed the six-year-old's um, father in an altercation. He was never charged with the murder. Before he died, mysteriously, a few months later. The brother. The brother. And now this lady, she messing with this guy who is like some type of doomsday prepper. Yeah, but cult. He read he writes books. Him and his wife founded this um book publishing company. So he was able to self publish like six or seven, maybe more excuse me, so blah, blah, blah. doomsday cult type of books. <clears throat> Just all types of craziness. Doomsday cult. <laughs> so anyway, check this out. His wife mysteriously dies at home. 
So they're like, it was officially or initially ruled as natural causes. So back in December, they exhumed her body because they said something ain't right, something ain't right. His wife died in maybe October. Within weeks, like two, maybe not even so before then. I don't even know. Within two weeks or four weeks, whatever, I think it was like two weeks, he married this lady. He, oh, so he was married to his wife for like 20, 30 years. Well, so he, the wife dies and he gets married two weeks later. Within a month's time, within mere weeks. Well, I mean, less than a year, you're still tripping, like. He was married to his wife for, of like 30 years, maybe. 20 or 30 years, don't quote me on it. Google it. So, now, she she uh withdrew her son from, um, from school, basically saying like, hey, I'm just gonna homeschool him myself. Hmm. The last time, and that was the last time that he was ever seen by anybody. The daughter, they had went on like a, a camping or hiking trip to Yellowstone. The security footage that they caught of her like at a store was like her last, the last time that she was seen alive. So after a while, I guess like maybe his family was like, where they at? Where they at? So they was like provide proof. So they were actually given, um, they were actually given like seven days to produce the children in physical custody because not physical custody, but like in physical form because nobody had seen them for months. Like the husband's family, nobody, they like, where's these kids at? Well, you know what they go do? They go run, they go on a run. So people like something not right. They finally find them like on the beach in Hawaii chilling some type of run <laughs> right so of course they bring them back they extradite them back to United middle States. yeah no, what back, do you guys United States. States. i was trying to think of what what the place they were in states the con the continent the continental you messed me up the contingent or some it's something you messed it up so anyway <clears throat> they extradited them back to the state where they were from then they charged them they charged her with like abandonment like where are your kids you can't physically produce them she's like they're okay i think at one point they try to say that they dropped them off at some cult place you know and uh we know that they're safe we know that they're good well they go through like their emails they're looking at all this different stuff and they showing now i don't have the full story nobody has a full story just yet and i just read over the article um we can see that the article. It's like, it was everywhere. It's like breaking news. This people have been, I've heard about this months ago before they even found them in Hawaii. I heard about it, like just watching TV one day. Um, these people were really planning on opening up their own cult. Um, he was actually, he went to BYU. Um, uh -huh. uh, he was like uh, raised by, the, by a family of Latter-day Saints and things like that. So real religious extremists and listen here this is the funny part this is what i remember reading it's not funny let me not say that she bought his wedding ring or her wedding ring her wedding dress off of amazon with her ex-husband her dead ex-husband's credit card she's a savage. that's how the family became alerted like something ain't right how's his card getting charges on it and he gone First off. that's how they that's how they found out that they even got married Jeff Bezos, what don't you sell on Amazon, bro? Listen. I can probably buy a pit boy at this point. You probably could. So. Yeah, that's what made me forget what part of the story I was on. Mm -hmm. So basically, she was just in court, smiling and laughing. They just reduced her bond from $5 million to $1 million which is crazy it's all this um all these different issues going on kids are still missing why would you lower this lady's bond like crazy total total i don't know i, I don't want to say injustice because at the time they didn't know the kids were dead for sure so the precedence might have been that you know just for child abandonment we can't or these suspicious 
cases isn't enough to hold somebody here at such a high bond. Like I'm not a judge, so I don't, and I don't work in a judici judiciary or judicial system. So I don't know how those things run, but it's just kind of like, what the heck? So yesterday, I believe, or a few days ago, excuse me, they found two bodies on this man's farm. Now, they been had a search warrant to search his farm like since December. So they got money, money? I said he was writing books and stuff, Doomsday. I mean, a lot of dudes who write but books I guess, don't really sell like that. Some yeah. don't. Well, I, he, he had something going. He was a professional. So he, um, I guess the ground just thawed out basically. So now they started digging. He used to be a, actually a, a, a grave digger back while he went to BYU. That's what he did. BYU got some characters there, bro. So he was actually able to, um, you know, he knew how to dig graves. So <laughs> not a chuckle. My bad. They found the baby, the baby, seven year, seventeen year old Tylee, and six year old JJ, I believe his name, bodies on his farm. It was confirmed yesterday that those were the bodies of those two children. So you've been paying attention to this. Yeah, on you, and you off. You never tell me about this. Yeah, on and off. So I'm definitely interested to see how this case will proceed. What would be the causes of death? How will they be charged? So when did they bring the, the other, the wife? And they exhumed her body back in December, but the results haven't been released to the public, I guess. Um. He has like I mean, three fishing. or something adult kids who have been like saying, my father isn't capable of this. My father isn't capable of doing anything to those children. It's just crazy. I was just reading it late last night, dealing with my son. And I just, you know, after he went to sleep, I was just reading a little bit. And I was just like, wow, this is crazy. I was praying, making do out that those kids were alive. So it really saddens me to find out that they were gone, that they are gone. So comment down below if you guys have been following this story, if you ever heard of this story, because I definitely will be following it very closely because it's going crazy. For real, for real. I just had to, I don't know why I just told that story. I just had to. Felt compelled. Yeah, I felt compelled just to be like, cause did y'all hear this crazy stuff? Because like. It's like they just try to do away with everything that held them to some type of responsibility other than being with each other and their cult, their mission. So, What's your favorite soda? Not just out of these, anything. Cream soda, ginger ale, root beer, Pepsi, Coke. Not yayo, yo Coca-Cola. What's yo-yo? Oh. I thought you were trying to say Tony. Fago. Yayo was Tony. Tony yayo. Oh, I'm surprised you got that. Did you just drink that whole soda? No, it, it evaporated. I'm not about to drink all this. Yeah, all right. He's going to try to clean it up. That's a little... I ain't drinking all this, I, uh, I literally did it just for show. You, you ate it for show. You you want to eat that plain thing? <laughs> yeah. Well, why you didn't eat it yet? Because I'm savoring it. You ain't savoring it. Mmm. This is so good. Definitely have a kick to it. Yeah, I get this one all the time. So you ain't got to try to get it back. I like it. It's good, but it's not your typical cream soda. It's not very sweet. It's not. It's not sweet at all. It's looking like a tongue. Yeah, I can see that. Ew. I wouldn't even want to eat that. That was so weird. <laughs> That's why I did that. So you won't feel bad for me eating in front of you. That's nasty. Mmm. I'm full. Same. Just wanted to come here, hop on here, and say hey to you guys. 
give you guys some content. So I want to just say our post shout our post notification shout out goes to this person right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Goes out to you. Thank you so much for your love and support and for hitting the bell notification for us. Until next time, family, make sure you, you, and you, and you, and your mama too. Oh, you do your mom, mom father too? Because you skip past a lot of things. Yes, I did that on purpose. Make sure you guys like this video. Give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below because we love to talk with you guys and we love to interact and engage with y'all. And hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and join the family. Come on. Be a part of us. Pause. What? <laughs> I said be a part of us. Pause. Oh. Um, like just join the family. You watch us anyway. No, so go up. ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go it ahead. Take two seconds. Yeah, go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna give you two seconds. One. One alligator. Two one alligator. And a quarter. Well, you just jumped one, in. What you talking about? You, you already counted two seconds. What'd you say? Two you alligator. was like in the quarters and something. Yeah, because I'm trying to get them. But did, did you hit the button yet? Did you hit the all button? Right, all right, now you looking a little thirsty. Ah, like, you know I'm, I'm thirsty. Go ahead and hit the button. You're a little thirsty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, keep it going. Click the button, but go ahead, keep it going. <laughs> so, until next time, family, peace out. Motherfucking deuces. <laughs> Let me get that shirt made.